Do you not sleep, Ari? I try, but around others, it's difficult. Better to stay awake, in control. You have proven you are worthy of our trust. We have no reason to fear you. I wish that were true. I came here searching for answers, but it seems the more I seek, the less I know myself. I too struggle to find truth, but our destiny awaits us. When we embrace motion, every step brings us closer to it. When we stop, we become frozen in place. Then, we are lost. I have been lost for so long. I wonder what my life could have been. What destinies have already passed me by. All were paths leading to where you are now. Here with us, where you must be. Our destinies are entwined. I believe you are right. Thank you for helping me along my path. Wait, this door. The markings on it are reacting to my sunstones. Is this the work of the Vasani? I've carried these stones with me since I was a new one. They've been my only connection to the past. They seem like... A key, searching for a lock. They've been with me this entire time. They're not just artifacts. They are vessels. For memories. There was barely any energy left in them. But it was enough to unlock this door. It was no coincidence then. No. My ancestors, the Vasani. They were somehow tied to the Blessed Vaults. In ways I still don't understand. The keys to your past grant insight into your future. Let us see what destiny has in store, Vastaya. His roots. The mist withers them, feeds on them. Something sinister lurks here. More than just the black mist. Then we must eliminate it. Lure it out. I do not think that will be necessary. Anyone else getting tired of surprise attacks? Our resolve is strong. We have repelled the shadows. The mist. It retreats from the roots. This vault is cleansed. What of the Blessed Water? While Maokai's roots appear to be healed, the Blessed Water here has long been dried out. Do not fear, Bram. We will find a cure for your people. I'm sure of it. For now, we should return to Maokai. Hopefully this will be enough to clear the way forward. Little ones, my root once again takes hold, and my energy begins to replenish. If slowly, I am in your debt. Your leaves are already greener. A welcome sight. <laughs> oh, this ordeal has taken much of my strength. To fully restore the grove, to breach the walls of mist, <laughs> it will take time. Time? We don't have any. We need to keep going. I can offer no alternative. The Buru have battled back the mist for thousands of years. There must be something my people can do, that I can do. Yes. The Buru. Before the ruination, the monks of the Blessed Isles would travel to the Serpent Isles 
to make contact with your ancestors. I thought those but rumors, myths. If you doubt me, search the coast along the Serpent Isles. There is a temple below the sea, where the Buru taught some from the Blessed Isles to commune with your Mother Serpent. Impossible. If such word has not been passed down in Buru legend, how can I find... I will find it. Ripper? I have seen things in the deep. Then you know of this place. Get me close. The Undertow will call to me. Take this seed. Grant it the Mother Serpent's blessing. With it full of life, I can restore the grove and crush the mist that stands in your way. It will be done. Until we meet again, Maokai. We've been sailing around in circles. Hey, silent type. Please tell me you sense something. Yeah. That's very typical. You tempt fate with me, Fortune. You're lucky to be here with us. That Allah we let you keep breathing. Or keep not breathing. You'll encounter the wrong captain one day, Ripper. Many say you are the wrong captain. What? I... Damn it! I had a great line ready. The fishman must sense something. He is much better swimmer than Brom. Maybe he can teach. Uh, didn't you swim all the way to Bilgewater? Yes, but... Uh, Brom is glad no one was watching. Very 
there's a problem. You sound a lot less confident than you did a few minutes ago. What have you found? The temple is below, but its power has drawn things from the depths. What kind of things? Masses of tentacles and eyes, scales sharp like blades, creatures of teeth and gills, the ancient sea's finest. So talk to them. Tell them to get lost. I can get past, Captain. You, however, are simply a convenient meal. We aren't getting past them. If we cannot fight our way through, we must create other solutions. I must speak to the Buru Elder. So just like that, we head back to Bilgewater? Unless you would care to go for a swing. <sighs> Turn the boat around. My child, you return. Your arrival was preceded only by your palpable unease. I must ask a great favor of our people. You are a truth bearer. We will hear what you have to say. I have discovered a piece of our history, an ancient temple. It was built in collaboration with the Blessed Isles, locked deep beneath the sea. So the myths were true. Myths? Why is this not common knowledge? After the ruination, it was not considered wise to speak openly of the temple's existence. A matter for another time. The way forward is blocked by rulers of the sea, too lethal to fight. I need the Serpent Callers. Lowry, the Serpent Callers are Bilgewater's last defense. We cannot call upon them lightly. Before, you received a vision from the Goddess. Has she sent you another? She... she has not. I prayed for another sign, but the Goddess has been silent. So, this grave request is simply your own judgment, then? Yes, I know that it is a risk. The Serpent Collars protect us from heroines. They are not to be trifled with. But if I succeed in my mission, we can stop a heroine before it even happens. I wish, I wish the Goddess would send me another vision, showing me the right thing to do, but she is silent. So my request for the Serpent Callers, yes, it is my own judgment as Truthbearer. You have made up your mind, and so shall it be. I will send home Callers to the shore. The Mother Serpent guides me. I will trust in her. As we trust in you, Alawi.
scare off sea monsters with even more massive sea monsters. <laughs> that one was a juvenile. All right, if you're done showing off. The entrance is below the light, in the dark water. And what are the depth? Shall you teach us to hold our breath? I could drag you overboard, one at a time, and continue with those who live. There is another way. have creatures like that in the Freljord. Well, that was certainly effective, yet horrifying. This place. We walk the path of my people's history here. Guess there was more to the myths after all. But we've got a job to take care of. Yes, the seed. I feel the presence of the Mother Serpent here. Her power will allow us to cleanse it. Then let's get moving. You fight well, brother. The Freljord could use a skilled blade such as yourself. You really know how to wear down an opponent, huh? <laughs> when it comes to friendship, Brom will not take no for an answer. Don't take it personal. I've spent a long time on my own. I haven't had much use for anyone, let alone friends. No man should be alone. Our homes, our families give us strength. When I fight, all of the Freljord is with me. Sounds nice. But I've got no home. They drove me out after what I did. Then build a new home, among new friends. You don't have to be alone. It suits me. Maybe you should try it. No, my friend. You see... Starting right now. Uh, uh, very well. We can be alone together. Hmm. Ike, you don't sleep. The sound of the deep never quiets. Perhaps you'd like to hear a tale. Yasuo seems to enjoy them. The sea tells many stories. Countless fools who've lost everything to the deep. Oh, Brom knows firsthand the dangers of the sea. I was nearly drowned recently. Not to mention all the sea monsters. There is balance. Man's domain is the land. Only darkness and teeth await in the open water. And worse, for those on my list. You speak of the list often. What is it? The list. The names of those who will be brought to the Blade. The guilty. Then Brom is glad not to be on it. You couldn't be. You're a fool. But you're honorable. Oh. How kind of you to say. Brom, I overheard you talking to Alawi. About the Freljord? Brom's voice carries. Forgive me. It's obvious how fond you are of your homeland. Like you, I'd do anything to protect my home. Flawed as it is. We must. No matter the cost. It takes a lot to impress me. But I have to say, I'm glad you're with us. You're strong, but it's your heart that steals the show. Don't forget my mustache! <laughs> how could I? Listen, after all this is settled, my city will do whatever it can to support the Freljord. If we've got any medicine or supplies you need, they're yours. No strings attached. Thank you, Captain. Come on now. You can call me Sarah. And you may call me Brom. 
Sometimes I wonder why I even try. There is some kind of scripture here. It's an ancient Buru dialect. How exciting! Can you read it? Give her some space, Brahm. She's concentrating. It seems that these people, my ancestors and their allies from the Blessed Isles, were in direct contact with Nagakaboros. There is a reference to a Buru Forge on the Blessed Isles. Everyone needs a good forge. In the Freljord we have many! How could this have been kept from me? I will need to confer with the Elder, but let us continue. Surely there are more secrets to unravel, as well as the pressing issue of the Seed. Heading out? Sorry if I disturbed you. I've caught you sneaking off a few times now. It won't be long before the others notice. I hunt to satisfy my... urges. Or I risk losing control. And you're sure you need to do this alone? I appreciate your concern, but I've survived on my own for several of your lifetimes. It's easy to forget. You don't look your age. <laughs> Get some rest. I'll return soon. Right. Happy hunting. There is magic in the Freljord. Yes, everywhere you look. And it is home to many fantastic beasts. From the tiniest Boro to great frost serpents that stretch beyond the horizon. I'm embarrassed to admit that when we first met, I thought you might be a troll. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Brom is big, but trolls are bigger. And much uglier. What about Vastaya? Are there anywhere you're from? I believe there must be. I recall stories, but... Brom has never met another little fox. I'm sorry. It's okay. I have never met an Iceborn. Ah, you know of the Iceborn? Only what little I've read in books. Books? <laughs> These things you must see with your own eyes. Someday, Brom will show you. I would like that. Someday. Masked one, what troubles you so? The undying compulsion to kill. Same as everyone else. Very interesting. Brom will protect those who cannot protect themselves. Hmm. I guess we're like two sides of a coin, then. And the world needs coin. <laughs> a wonderful perspective. Uh, we should spar some time. Brom needs more practice fighting small enemies. Right now works for me. Ah, no, the offer is appreciated, but uh, it is late. Perhaps once our journey is complete, huh? Rest well, friend. That's a strange one. This temple... It shares details with the vaults we've explored on the Shadow Isles. The Blessed Isles' reach goes far beyond what I imagined. And I thought all Buru temples were the same. Less stone squids here. I like it. Squids? You are referring to the image of Nagakaboros. Show proper respect. You want me to say a prayer? I do not think it would help you. You may be right. Her spirit is that of a thunderstorm. I'm not sure if I admire it or fear it. She is one of the few who can save Bilgewater, and doing so is in her blood. She is important. Uh, perhaps we should have just stolen her boat. <laughs> I would fear for the man or woman foolish enough to steal from Sarah Fortune while she still lives. As Gangplank must. 
Uru idols. The power of Nagakaboros resonates in this temple. A seed. Here, we can bring it life anew. What? What is that I sense? <laughs> Something pulls the seed down. A cold mist? Ready your arms. The enemy approaches. No. Not now. I need to control myself. I'm starving. No. I can't. Ari? Can you hear me? The corruption from the seed. It triggered something in me. I lost control. Lost control? Should we be worried? I... This is why I am better off alone. Enough of that. You've shaken it off. You're fine. And it seems our mission has been a success. Seed. It radiates with life. Such an aura. It has been blessed by the Mother Serpent herself. Perhaps this was a test of what or whom I am uncertain. We must move with haste before the mist overtakes Maokai. This blade, a monarch's blade, still sharp after all this time. He was a mighty ruler who commanded vast armies, just like you will when the mist is yours. Let us see how his strength has grown. Awaken, mighty king! I... I remember you, but... Wait, where is my queen? This again... My lord, you are building your strength. We will find her soon. He's not getting any stronger. It'll be easier to take his magic than you said. Who speaks to me in such a tone? I'm Gangplank, Reaver King of Bilgewater. Your kingdom is dead, but mine still waits for me. Your magic will serve my destiny. Do not tempt my wrath with such lies, peasant! What is that? Amulet around your neck. Come, come. We will find your queen soon. Do not try to calm me, wretch. My destiny cannot be denied. I will find her. He's not getting stronger. He's fixated on that queen of his. Peace, Gangplank. That obsession is his strength. You of all people know the power that comes from following your destiny. Yes. But his destiny is already broken. Mine still lives. Gangplank. The king's destiny is far from broken. When he senses his queen, he speaks the truth. With her crown in bilgewater, it will lead him there. 
then across the world, bringing ruination in his wake. Knock alone should have told me. May I come in? Have you changed your mind about our moment? I admit your timing is odd. Ah, a priestess. I. Uh, no. Well then, speak. This journey has been difficult. For Brom, yes, but for others too. You, Ilawi. Prom can see that you are like a, a snow lion without its snow. Something is amiss. You have a sharp eye, Brown. Indeed, this mission has been difficult for me. When we left Bilgewater, I hoped that my path was blessed by the goddess. But now, I am not so sure. With Pike, the goddess commanded me to go against Buru teachings. But lately, I have also challenged Buru tradition alone. I hoped that she would bless my decision about the serpent collars. But the goddess was silent. You made the right choice. Did I? There are some things I have not shared. Things that make me question the goddess entirely. I am about to tell you a grave secret, Bram. You must swear to never reveal it. Bram swears. A secret you call grave must be precious indeed. I knew Gangplank was alive. After Sarah tried to kill him, Gangplank came to me. I saved him because the goddess judged him worthy, but now he has failed to walk that worthy path. And you kept the secret from Sarah. The goddess commanded me to help him. If I told Sarah, she would have killed him in his sickbed. But perhaps I never heard the goddess rightly at all. Perhaps Gangplank deserved to die, and I am a fraud. Brom has a theory. Your goddess is testing you, just as you tested Gangplank. <laughs> To what end? If I fail her test, then all of Bilgewater will fall. Then you will pass, and we will help you. Any test of Ilawi is a test of Brom, too. Soon you will find the right time to tell Sarah the truth. Brom can tell. You think she deserves to know. And for that reason, you have my shield. Good night, Ilawi. You could stay. Another time, perhaps. A great battle with Thresh is approaching, and I feel I should be alone with my thoughts. You are strong, Bram. In ways many men are not. As the dawn darkens, champions gather. Who speaks? Declare yourself, Mistwalker. Many centuries have passed since I had a name. On the Shadow Isles, we lose almost everything. But not all fully turn to the mist. For now, you may simply call me Necrit. Well spoken for a creature of nightmares. You'll forgive our skepticism. The grip of shadow is tight. A few sane souls inevitably trickle through. We do what we can to avoid the pull into madness. This one certainly feels... different. There is a calm to his soul, at the center of his torment. I would expect no less insight from Avastaya. You know them? You've met my people? They would visit us before their ruination. Did 
Did you meet them? What were they like? Did you see them use their magic? Why were they here? That I cannot say. Those who came did so deliberately, only speaking with a select few. That's... all? Forgive me, I'd hoped for so much more. Hey, we're glossing over the fact that we're apparently allying with a Mistwalker. Are we suddenly okay with this? We have a common enemy. His actions created the nightmarish limbo I exist in. And he is coming for you. Gangplank? Thresh? One of those scumsuckers? <laughs> We've heard of them. No. The Ruined King. That doesn't sound good. It isn't. Before he became the Ruined King, he was Viego, a powerful magic user ruling over a now forgotten empire. I was his advisor. Viego was a man of passion, beloved by his subjects. Above all else, he loved his queen, Isolde. She was everything to him. But Viego's kingdom was built by conquest. His enemies were legion, and ultimately proved more cunning than he thought. Viego managed to escape the assassin's blade, but Isolde was not as lucky. She was attacked and poisoned with a tainted weapon. Diego ordered his warriors to scour the world, seeking a cure. Ultimately, they came upon the Blessed Isles, having heard rumors of healing properties in the island's waters. While his army searched, Diego locked himself away with his queen. In time, she passed, and he went mad with grief. He ordered violent suppressions of rebellions amongst his people, clinging to Isolde's body and refusing to leave her chamber. The king's generals returned, claiming a cure was found. He set out for the Blessed Isles, while villages burned in his homeland. Diego confronted the inhabitants of the Blessed Isles. They refused to grant him the waters of life. All but one, a conniving scholar with a black heart, the man who would become Thresh. Thresh led Diego to the blessed waters deep below the island. He lowered his soul's body into the waters, and their healing properties coursed through her. The lantern wielding wretch watched with cruel pleasure as his soul returned. A horrible shadow of her former self. As Viego stared, frozen with grief and terror, the creature attacked. The two of them sank into the depths, dark shadow escaping from their bodies as they were enveloped by the waters. The pain and shadow tore through the island, corrupting the blessed waters and turning them into black mist. Viego was consumed by the mist along with his queen, unleashing the ruined nation. The ruined king has been dormant for ages. Now Thresh seeks artifacts of power that will pull him from the mist, make him whole once more. Gangplank, what a fool. He has no idea what power he's playing with. You must stop the ritual. If the Ruined King manifests, he will unleash the mist across every continent. A heroine to consume the world, ravaging all life in its wake. Are there more like you, who might aid us? There is a gathering at the shoreline, where you enter the island. We watched your arrival with interest. Spied on us, you mean? We had to know your chance of survival, and to know your intentions. I hope you got a good look. 
So you know what happens to shadows that cross us. Save your threats for Thresh. Stop the ritual. Then, find me at the landing. And you'll see that our purpose is aligned. You found what you seek. The life force was palpable the moment you set foot on the island. Yes. It was astonishing to see what our people accomplished together. Ancient history now carves a path forward through a grim future. Plant the seed that we might reveal hope. when we first met him. <laughs> that makes two of us. My power returned. Another blow against our enemy. But each step brings you closer to danger. Choose your path carefully. I fear the path may not be ours to choose. Well, let's pick one and keep moving. Before you go, a gift of thanks, Brom, hero of the Freljord. You traveled here for a cure that would save your homeland, and found none. Yet you stay, and fight to save mine. Of course! That is what it means to be a hero. In all my years, I have never met a heart so pure. If this is a virtue of your people, then they must be saved. These are... leaves. <laughs> I love them. In old times, when there was peace, and men were welcome here, they sought these leaves, and I gave them freely. From them they made elixirs and potions to cure sickness. They cure? Those leaves are a part of me, you see. And within me flows the last of the blessed water you sought. It is my life's blood. The last hope of restoring this land. And it seems yours as well. Brom does not know what to say. <laughs> Brom is... The only one crying. We're all crying on the inside. <laughs> Go now. Find victory. And know that you will always be welcome visitors in Maokai's Grove. 